Hello there, folks, it is TIJ Gaming, and welcome back to the Rugby 20 League mode with the Wasp. And today, it is time for a massive game to kick us off in today's episode against the Saracens. You can see that the odds are very much stacked against us, but based off Tuesday's fantastic episode, hopefully we have a chance of potentially overcoming things in the weakest odds possible to potentially go and beat the Saracens. Just a reminder of what we did last time out. In episode 9, we went and beat Harlequins by a score of 39 points to nil. And as a result, we are now in the top four. Of course, the top four gets the knockout stages at the end of the season, um, and that is what we are aiming for. You can see the top three is a bit of a runaway group, so it's unlikely, even with a fantastic set of results in this second half of the season, that we're going to challenge that top three. But it is important to be top of this tree that includes us, Gloucester, Saints and Sharks. It's very close between us, so every, every match and every win is going to be absolutely massive. And today is no different. It's a massive game um, against the, the Saracens. And I believe in the second game of the episode, we are playing against Bath. So an interesting game and one that we can certainly go and win. Now, a little bit of sad news. Not necessarily related to this, but related to Ross Neal. Now, I had a comment off Tom Vaughn last time out that said it was the first time that Ross Neal had ever been considered Wasp Biggie's assets. So after that, I went and researched Ross Neal. And it turns out he's not a Wasps player anymore. He plays for Seattle in the US. And I was absolutely heartbroken. So he's going to remain a Rugby 20 legend. And hopefully in today's match he will continue to be a Rugby 20 legend. Because he has been absolutely fantastic so far for us. Absolutely no idea. Because I've got no idea about the Barbarians. So just a guess. Whatever. But uh, anyway, without any further ado. Let's go and start the first game of this episode. And remember if you go on to like this episode. Make sure to leave a like down below. We've got over 15 likes on the previous episode, so another 15 would be absolutely massive on today's episode. But without any further ado, and after the self-promotion, let's get on with the first match. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight, Saracens and Wasps. I'll be sharing the microphone in the commentary box tonight with Ben Kay. Good evening, Nick. It's a beautiful day for rugby. I think this pool match should be a cracker. It does seem like a significant difference. You'd think so, but, you know, the end result of this sort of match will come down to the players' performance. We may yet witness a major upset if Saracens try to rest on their laurels, though. The commitment that they put in on the pitch will make all the difference. Wasps were formed in Well, we're in very good form, but the Saracens are a different story, a very good side. You could see from the start that the odds are stacked against us here, but there has been a big update since I've last played. And as you can see, the kits are actually different. We're playing in orange for the first time. It's kind of like an orangey yellow, a bright orange sort of yellow colour. And that's the first time we're going to be playing in those colours. And I think this update has actually meant that the AI can actually win a rook. So we'll have to see how we get on in this match, but it's a massive one, the first one today's episode. Without any further ado, let's get into it. It's Saracens that start off today's match. And it feels like, I don't know why, but it feels like the uh, camera angle has gone back to being a little bit uh, further out. So, ah, if it's TV or side, we can't actually change the camera distance now. That's interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. But I don't particularly want to play with the action cam, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, they've actually locked that. That's interesting. That is interesting. We'll have to see how we get on. We'll have to let me know um, how you guys find that. Because the camera angle is really for you guys rather than me. I'm fine with this. I can see this absolutely perfectly. Um, but a decent start for us here. Feels a little bit different, the game does, because of this update. I don't know if it's just psychological or what. But a good start from us here. Fekatoa out on the wing to pass it. Can't quite get the ball to the left. Now, somebody did say, when you get on the wing to pass, and, and I appreciate that. I get what they're saying. But that's a uh, bad pass there. So can the AI actually win a rook? Yes, they can, because I've just put hands in the rook with Dan Robson. We only usually have to jackal once, um, and that usually leads um, to us winning the rook. So good that the AI are better at the rooks now. It makes things a lot more interesting. I wonder if the same goes for the scrum. Because things have been made a lot easier for us by it being a lot easier to win a scrum um, and a rook, ultimately. So we'll see how hard it is to win this. I mean, we're not doing the best here in terms of winning the scrum. But we're coming back into it. And we're starting to take uh, a bit of control now. But it's took us so much time that we're not really going to make too much of a benefit from this. I'm going to hook it and just get the ball out straight away. No mucking about. Car, great stuff. To Gopuff. Fekatoa. Out to Ross Neal. Great ball to Ross Neal. Ross Neal takes the man on and beats him. That's some great ground made up there. Really is. Could have a chance here. Gopuff. To De Jong. The game is playing a little bit better, I must admit, but we've lost the ball there. 
So let's see if we can get it back. It doesn't look like we will be able to. So that's good that the AI can actually win a Rook now. But that ball's a little bit loose. But we have to do a lot more defending now. We have to do a lot more defending than what we're used to. But we got the ball back there. Good turnover. Taylor. Ooh. Really have to make the most of the ball then if the AI can actually win it. Gopeth to Fekitoa. Gaskell. Out on the wing to Tumagrallan to Bassett. Ooh, don't want this to go out. But we're okay. Gopeth. Back across the line. Carr. De Jong. Willis. To Taylor. Can't quite get the ball out. Big pass now. De Jong. Fekitoa. Look at the room Ross Neal has got on the wing. Look at the room Ross Neal has got on the wing. He can beat any man. And it is the try for Ross Neal. The man, the myth, the Rugby 20 legend. And we take the lead against the Saracens after 18 minutes. Great stuff there on the wing. Ross Neal just beat anyone. And I thought, well, we'll get this as central as possible. So the conversion is made as easy as possible. Ross Neal, the man of the season. Absolutely won us matches so easily so far this year. But this one isn't over just yet. I know someone said don't take change the angle on conversions. But that is concerning me a little bit. But that's absolutely fine. Successful conversion there from Gopov. And uh, we've taken a nice lead in this match against Saracens. But as we've seen, it can go very, very quickly. Gaskell on the ball. To the left again. Taylor. Great ball out to Rob Robson. To Ross Neal. He is took down there. Good ball out to De Jong. Really nice ball. De Jong. Across now to Fekatoa. We're looking in control here. Gaskell. To McGrallan. Can't quite get uh, that ball out. Fekatoa. De Jong. This wing play isn't working all so bad. De Jong gets tackled. Looking good though here. To McGrallan. Bassett. Lovely ball. Lovely ball out to Taylor now. We can't quite get the ball back in. Gopeth. Beckatoa. Hmm, this is interesting. Close match. I just feel like they could take control at any point. Ball out to Ross Neal. To McGrallan. Back into De Jong. Robson again. Back out to Ross Neal. Great stuff to beat the man. Brilliant. I just worry if Ross Neal ever gets injured again, how much we're going to miss him. Gopeth. Beckatoa. I suppose we haven't got to worry about that, really. Because we've got him at the end of the day at the moment. Bassett, though, on the ball. Can we do anything through the middle? Taylor. Gopov. De Jong. Nearly lost the ball there. Nearly punted it. Goodness knows why. Gopov. Oh, I genuinely do think the wing is the best way to go. Because in the middle, we just get trapped. Bassett. To Willis. Oh, can't quite get the ball back in. We could be have a potential two-try lead going into the half. To McGrallan, launch break, Gaskell. Oh, can't quite get it over to the wing quick enough. Launch break. We are getting trapped on the wing, I do admit. So we're going to have to think of something a little bit innovative to beat this defence. To McGrallan, great pass out to Ross Neal. Back into Fekatoa. We're going to have some good dribbling, obviously, here to try and beat them. Taylor pushed back now. Young to Gopeth. It's not happening at the moment. We're dominating possession, but as to be said, we're not really doing too much with it. We're just trying to make some room up here, and we haven't. Can we run it back in the rook? Well, that's too greedy. Hands in the rook, so they do get a penalty. Going to bring Willie Soft for Brad Shields. And it's another scrum, so we should be able to get away... Um, we've keeping our first half lead going into half time. And the scrum is turned by Wasps. The Come on, Wasps. Looking good here. From the wasps Very good. We're going to try and make some ground up. And potentially have a go at getting the second try before the half now. We've got to be positive, I think. The opposite of what we were before. And the number eight. And we're going to extract the ball. Carr to Gopeth. Great chance now. De Jong. Oh, just can't quite make the pass. Good chance though still. Gopeth to Fekatoa. Gaskell. Out to Bassett. Back in now. To Fekatoa. Oh, just gets 
Beaten by the one man. Back in central. Gopuff. De Jong. Oh, they're really trying now. You can really see they're under pressure. Gopuff. Get this out to the wing and there's a real chance. Ross Neal again. The man. The myth. The legend. Two tries for Ross Neal. He's the man. He really is the man. We have a strategy. Use Ross Neal. He's got two tries this half. I think that strategy of use Ross Neal has worked pretty decently. Gets tackled on the line but just gets it over. And uh, the conversion is a little bit more tricky this time. Let's see how we get on. This could be a mile off. Doesn't look too bad though. Oh well. Changing the angle was wrong there. I do concede there, because if we don't think we'd have changed the angle, it would have been fine. But we have a 12-0 lead going into the, uh, the second half against the Saracens. You wouldn't have expected that. But I'll tell you what, we are really doing good things at the moment. So, a win against the Saracens would just highlight that. But, they're not going to go without a fight. Really not going to go without a fight. And they win the Rook. Good uh, tackling from our lads, though. This is made a lot more challenging now because uh, they can actually win the Rook, the AI, which didn't happen before, and after that makes a huge difference. Gopuff. Oh, ball's a little bit loose, but Fekito wins it. Look at the space on this wing. Gaskell. Can't quite get it out to Bassett. Gopuff. This is good stuff. Can we make a good early start to this second half? Gaskell, De Jong, Launchbury, Fekatoa. Out to Ross Neal. Ross Neal. Can't quite beat the man. That's just greed there. We should really just got it back out to the right. And I think if we'd have been central, we'd have probably got something there. Gopuff. Out to Fekatoa. Gaskell. You know what I'm like? I just want to use my man. Carr. It's great room out on the right wing though now. Can we exploit that? Great pass to Shields. To Bassett. Bassett's just got to run this on now. Bassett. Oh, gets beaten on the line and pushed back. Back out to the left. We can just beat them by strength here. Gopov. Fekitoa. Gaskell. Oh, can't quite get it across the line. Look, though. There's no one to the left. And Ross Neal. Jesus. You'd think, for a man that is so lethal, that they would get someone to mark him. But look at the space he's got out here on the wing. Easy as you like. Third try of the day. Absolutely immense. Absolutely unbelievable. Ross Neal, what a man. Couldn't quite get the conversion there. Got the angle on it, but not the pace. It's okay, though. We've got a comfortable lead at the moment. Not necessarily a case of we've got the lead great. Because it could all come crashing down this. Now, if you guys think we ought to change difficulty, let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'm happy to stay as we are. I just think we're playing really well at the moment. Fekitoa. Gaskell. <sighs> Couldn't quite get it out to Bassett. De Jong. Might be worth trying to kick this out at some point, you know. Gaskell. Young. To Allen. Ball out on the wing to Ross Neal. We don't need to kick when we got him. It's a good amount of room we've made up there with our winger. The main man in this squad. But we're going to have a kick on this. I mean, that wasn't really much of a punt because the opposition player actually um, shouldered that, really. But it didn't make a difference because we just kept the ball. Fekitoa, though. That was a little bit of nerves. But with 20 minutes to go, Saracens are going to back back with no reply here. Young, Carr, Fekitoa. Great ball out to Neil, but he's got them out in this time. But dangerous play from Jack Singleton. Well, hopefully there's no injury. I think it's okay. Oh, well, it's happened. I can't remember what we're going for, but we're actually going to have to go for a kick for goal. Well, this is disastrous, isn't it? We've got maximum power on this. Who knows? It's absolutely nowhere near. But to be fair, we made a decent amount of room up. I would be surprised if he doesn't kick this, and he doesn't. Oh, well, he does. And they win it back, because we're just a mug in defence. But I suppose we've made up some ground. Again, you obviously don't know what option you're going for with that. That's still a glitch. Um, I cannot remember what the options are. 
when it comes to uh, when it comes to what we're going to take in terms of a penalty. And we clicked X out of a leap of faith, and unfortunately, it was taking a um, a kick for goal, which is not really what we need to want to do necessarily from that far out. But look at the space we've got again here on this wing to McGrallan, to Bassett, back in again to Gaskell. Oh, well, Gopuff. Back out to the left. De Jong. Fekatoa. Ross Neal. Back into Fekatoa. They're wise to that, though. Ten minutes to go. Gopuff. De Jong. Great ball out to Gaskell. To Bassett. Can Bassett finish it off? Not quite. He gets past the one man. We're getting closer. Potential fourth try. De Jong. Fekatoa. To McGrallan. Out to Ross Neal. Come on, son. He's run out of puff. He really has. We use him far too often. Make him wait. De Jong. Oh, nearly over the line. Nearly there. Young. Launch Bree. Cruz. Oh, you idiot. You idiot. Wrong way. I mean, you idiot. That's me being the idiot. Well, we're going to win this at the line out. I think it's just mashing A. Not A, A, X and B at the same time. But we've won it. And we're going to punt it over the line. But they don't want that, do they? The goodness me, they don't want that. Miller. De Jong. Can we get that fourth try? Beckatoa. Bassett. It's close this, but Saracens are going to lose. Not many times have done that this year. Fekatoa. Can we do it? Gaskell. This is just for pride now, really, for another try. To McGrallan out to Ross Neal. You can see he's out of puff. But, uh, well, can't quite get to the line. Must be shattered for the next game. Poor man. Gopuff. Oh, he's lost the ball. And that's Owen Farrell there, but we're going to take him out. 80 minutes gone, and I presume the one will end this. And the hell. Saracens haven't been in this game. Won the ball back. Gopuff. We're going to keep going. Why not? Ross Neal. You, Plonker. There's no one out to the left, though, but Ross Neal's knackered, so... Can't do too much about that, but I think because of that foul from Hands in the Rook, that might just be it. Is that going to be it? No, it's not. But they're going to put it out, I think. No? All right, Ross. I know you're quite successful and you want to be successful, but just finish the game off, man. Young, Cruz, De Jong. Might not end the game, though, now. Carr, Fekatoa. Look at the space out on the wing. I mean, it was a bit of a poor pass, has to be said. Carr. Back out to the left. Gopuff, De Jong, launch break. Gaskell. We're in a bit of disarray, aren't we, when we can't call on Ross Neal to do everything for us. But we're just going to pass it out to the left. We can't even do that. Fekatoa. Oh, for, for goodness sake, just someone get it out. There we go, Robson. Just run it out. Run it out! Thank God for that. End of the match. It's becoming quite customary now, isn't it? But we've done a massive turnover once again. Saracens nil. Wasps, 17. It's a team effort. Well, all three tries were scored by Ross Neal. Conversion by Gopuff. Absolutely fantastic game. And on the back of that, if I can, I'm going to increase difficulty going into the match against Bath. So this should be an exciting match. And now let's watch a game between Wasps and Bath. I'm here with Ben Kay, who's played in plenty of games like this. Good evening. Yes, this is one pool match that could well be decisive. You wouldn't happen to have any inside information, would you, Ben, that you care to share with us? Despite a slight advantage for Bath, they both seem well-balanced sides. Well, this evening we'll be able to see two sides that are really close in terms of their sheer power. But it's true that they do have a better chance of getting an advantage. Everything will become that much clearer once the match is underway. Wasps were formed in... Mm. By the way, I am sick to death of every match. Wasps were formed in such and such. Anyway, we're not too fussed about that. We're back in our black kit when we played that mostly. And I've changed difficulty to pro, not semi-pro. Pro, the hardest difficulty on the game. So whether that will apply to the career mode... Or not, I'm not sure whether it just stays with the semi-pro that we started on. I am not sure. 
But if it is on pro, we might be up for a bit of a challenge today. And we're nearly there. Let's see. Here we go. Against Bath. Can we make it two and two? Let's see. And, the game has begun. and we're off. Can we do anything? It's going to be tricky from a kickoff when you've got the other team uh, actually challenging. Carr gets it back though, straight away. Fumble pass, but goodness me. Knock on from uh, Tom Ellis, and that's advantage lost. So, first scrum of the match. Only two minutes in. Got to be some sort of record. Certainly for Rugby 20 anyway. Not necessarily in uh, real life. Obviously that could happen in real life. But let's say first scrum in about 10 seconds arguably. But this is good. We're doing well here. This could just be our first chance of the match to take an advantage. Gonna extract the ball. Car, great ground made up. Gopov to Neil. Beats the man. Beats two. Can't quite beat three. He's good, but he's not God. Gopov to De Jong. Great stuff. Vekatoa. We're close. Oh, well, they've run it back. It was offside from us, that was, but luckily we get away with it. Got to make sure they don't make up too much ground here. Play on. <laughs> well, what are they doing here? Oh, they've won it. Ross Neal. Oh, you Wally, wrong bloody way. Okay, though. I mean, we're playing well, but there's still a few problems with our game. But a turnover in the rook from uh, Bath. I'd say this is definitely on pro difficulty now. Makes it trickier for us, but we don't want to be whooping teams in every game. We want some degree of challenge, and they've won it back again. Wow, this is fascinating. Really is. Have to work really hard now for our tries. Becker Tower, De Jong. Back into Gaskell. Gopeth. Becker Tower, nice. And there's the man out wide, Ross Neal. But even he's challenged now. Gopeth. De Jong. Vekatoa. To McGrallan. Always the player who's a little bit slower there. I know you've got to have him in. But ultimately, well, there you go. Another turnover in the Rook. Look at the space they've got out wide. Defending was never our bloody speciality. But look at that. He just ran through. And Bath get the try. This is going to be the problem now on pro difficulty. We've not been used to much defending. We've dominated matches, but that was just shocking. Absolutely shocking. He could have walked that in. And Bath take the lead. I don't see many more 39-point wins now. Missed the conversion. That's one bit of solace for us. And it's us who will take this. And we get the ball straight away. In terms of a, a rook, we haven't won the ball straight away. Don't get worried about that. This is going to be very tricky now on pro difficulty. But something we'll get used to. We were battered first off on uh, on semi-pro. But we were winning matches on that. So it's just a time scale. It's something that makes things interesting. Again, we don't want to be winning every single match by a, at a canter. But it's a closer match this is. So we will learn to take our opportunities when they come. And hopefully we will get one. But we're doing well here. But ultimately, they keep winning the rooks. Not made much ground up with them so far. But a kick now. Great catch. That but we got the ball back. That's the main thing, I would argue. Oh, well, we've lost it straight away. In the rook. This isn't very good to watch, is it? I've just realised now. We've gone from being the dominant team to somebody who can't get the bloody ball. 
can't win anything, can we? It's just domination bath. Now I know what every other team must feel like, poor gits. Could be like this for the next 47 minutes, quite conceivably. So we need to get a chance at some point. I mean, sure, we're, you know, we're, we're making the challenges and they're not making up any room, but ultimately they don't need to. As long as they stop us getting on any sort of try, it's fine. And we've won the Rook. Finally got a turnover. I want to avoid them getting one too quickly, though. Willis, Taylor. Well. Out to Bassett. Now out to Carr. Unlucky. Just before half time, be great if we could level or even go in front. To McGrallan. Launch Bree. Not quite. Look at the space Ross Neal has got on the wing. Our saviour, Ross Neal. Well, gets challenged there. Dangerous play from Anthony Watson. And I'm guessing it will be a scrum. No. Um, well, we can tap and go. Kick for goal. Penalty kick. I think I'm going to tap and go. I know it would be an easy three points, but this might well be the only chance we get of the match. De Jong, Fekatoa, Ross Neal. Oh, we'll pull back a little bit, but we are so close. I think we can do something. We might come to regret that. But that's the risk you take. Look at the room out on this right wing. Fekatoa. Gaskell. Gaskell's in. And we level the match. Brilliant. Paid off. We could have took the penalty kick. Got three points. But now we've got five. And potentially with a good conversion here. To make it seven. Not enough power on that, I would say. But let's see. Could be wrong. No, not enough power. We need to work on our conversions. But especially in tight matches like that. Especially. Because every point matters. But it's level as it was at the start of the first half. Going into the second half now. Against Bath. And get a win out of this on the new difficulty. That'd be great. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. McIntyre to Bassett. Great ball to Fekatoa. Great ball. But they win it back in the rook, crucially. You know, we, we were at, we've out the ball for a long time in that half. Sure, we used it when we could. Look at the space he's got. Good, uh, good tackling. Just one lapse of concentration for us, and there could be a way again. You saw when they scored how poor it was from us, and it took a pretty good turnover in the rook to do anything. So we're going to have to do something here, and quite quick and fast. Need to stop being offside as well, or else there will be a penalty. Well, nearly won it back there. The rooks are a bit more quickly paced on this difficulty. So you've got to get the men in straight away. As you can clearly see, they'll win it. But we've won the ball back. Bad pass, but... Oh, come on. We didn't even get a chance there. This could be a chance, though. No. Oh, this is frustrating. But frustrating in a good way. You have to work for it. We had the ball for all of about three seconds there. It wasn't any longer than that. Mm, horrible. I hate these bloody rooks. Got the ball back, though. Offside from Dan Robson. They knew that they got advantage. Took the kick. And, uh, well, there you go. Ross Neal's got it, though. Couldn't quite get the ball out. Let's see. It's now us with the ascendancy. Great ball out to Bassett. Good stuff. Don't lose the ball now, whatever you do. De Jong, Fekitoa, McIntyre, Gaskell, all the way out to Neely. Look at Ross Neal. Come on, son. Oh, I can't quite beat the man. Oh, and they've won the ball back. I was gutting so close. Why is it advantage? Oh, mm. I can't accept that. Terrible. I'm going to try and kick it into touch again, I think, here. They don't. Oh, you idiot, Robson. 
They couldn't even kick it into touch, but no, you did it for them. That was shocking. How long is it now going to be before we win the ball? That's the case. On this difficulty, you really have to use your opportunities when you can. Not the case that you've got 80-odd minutes of the ball. But Ross Neal's got the ball back. But crucially, we're a lot further back than we were. But we've lost the ball. And look how close they are now. One lapse in concentration. And we give it all up. Jesus. Oh, thank God he didn't pass there. I don't feel good about this. We're just not that quick. We don't react too quick. Done well there, though. Not here. Oh, good pass. Oh, we just, the problem is, it is, it is, I agree, it is button mashing, but luckily, we've uh, managed to force a scrum. Thank goodness for that. A bit of time to take some pressure off. If we win this, though, we'll have to have worked for it. They make up some ground in the scrum, but uh, we've got that ground now. The, gap, the way the match has been, I'd be quite happy with a draw secretly. But we'll extract the ball now. I mean, that was a complete waste of time. Oh, advantage us. Knock on, though, from Priestland, so advantage lost. So, looks like it'll probably be another scrum, which doesn't help anybody. Time wasting the scrum, as I've just said, doesn't help anybody at all. Just whether we just play for the draw, take it today on our first match on this new difficulty, to be fair. They could win the scrum here, but no, we're doing all right. Ball gathered in by the number eight. Excellent hand Young, Vekatoa, Ross Neal, great pass. Ross Neal makes up some good ground. Get to that man. Robson does. Want to make sure it doesn't go out, though. That's good. Gopuff. Dion gets it. Just got to keep it now. Can we use this chance? Gaskell. Great ball out to Bassett. Some real ground going to be made up here. But you will notice that Bath have got the men. We should have made the pass there. Should have made the pass. And that could just be too little too late. Two minutes left. It's advantage uh, Bath as well, which they will use to their advantage. Sounds silly, but they will. And there you go. I knew they'd use that to their advantage at some point. And it is game over. Well, a much tighter match, but we forced the draw out of it. Our players seem happy about that. Hmm. Interesting. So what did you guys think? New difficulty? Old difficulty? Is it better to just watch us smash teams? All like there, really have to work hard for it. It's a tough game that was, but five each, it's finished. Our first draw for a while, but still, not a loss, and that is quite crucial. So let's have a look at the end of this match, how the standings look. Well, well, well. We've slipped out. We've slipped out of that top four, Gloucester. Are the team back in it now. It's crucial to say that Saints and South Sharks have fallen a little bit away from the wayside. But we've got to get back in that top four. You know, those four matches lost, not so big. I mean, we, we've, had, we've lost less than Exeter and Gloucester. But as you can see, matches drawn free. We need to avoid drawing those matches. But it's going to be tricky on the near difficulty. But on Tuesday's episode, we will take on Saints and Exeter. Two massive games. Saints in seventh and Exeter in third. It's going to be a big episode to see if we can get back in that top four. But if you guys did enjoy that, please make sure to leave a like down below. Comment if you enjoyed as well and subscribe for regular Rugby 20 content. Thank you very much for your company today and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye for now.